slides right over my head. This is it on. So this is the front, this is the back. Looks just like a backpack when it's zipped up. Then I take the straps that I was talking about with the Velcro and I just put it on and secure it. This way it's snug and even if I am running, it still is protecting all of my vital organs. This is so sad that this is happening again in our country. Kids should not be dying going to school. I shouldn't have to have a bulletproof backpack, a door bar, and a bat in my classroom to feel safe. This is my first grade classroom, excuse the mess, we're towards the end of the year, so we're starting to clean everything. But this is what I have to protect my kiddos. So this is a metal bat that I have here, and then this is called the Barracuda. You guys go into this room, you go into this room, and you guys have five minutes to barricade the door. They got in within like 10 seconds of trying to open the door. And I just remember being freaked out. And so that's how it kind of started. There's a lot of different compartments in here, which is great. And so the front part, I have all the tourniquets inside of, um, basic life-saving stuff in here. And then the front pocket, this is actually one of the plates that I have. And then in the back compartment, I have an actual part of a bulletproof vest in here. And there's another plate that's actually back here. This is the Barracuda bar. It goes right over the door handle and it sits on the door frame. And I could put this on with one hand if I needed to. Now it's on. And then the nice part is, once it's on there, you can't open it. I went to school to become a teacher, not law enforcement right like i'm not trained to handle a weapon i'm not trained to you know to hurt somebody like that if i had to of course i would but like i i wouldn't feel comfortable having a gun also teaching the agencies i think we can step up our security in schools absolutely i think we should have resource officers at school i think that would be a deterrent for people and the security that we do have, I think they should also be trained, right? Whether they have a weapon or not, they should be trained on how to stop somebody or spot somebody who could be a potential threat. Now is the time that districts need to step it up and say, okay, what can we do to provide more safety for our staff and students? And hopefully we see more change within that because we're not seeing change within the government. At least we can hopefully see change within our district and our school because that's something that we can fix now.